Hi, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to send documents to Doxit users as well as non-Doxit users. The first thing that you have to do is you have to register on Doxit in order to use this feature and to send documents purely via encrypted channel to somebody else. So the first thing that you have to do when you're done registering, you have to upload your document. In order to upload a document, you go to this little cloud icon with the arrow pointing up. It will take you to your file explorer where you just select the document that you would like to upload and upload it. Once the document is uploaded that you would like to send, it can be multiple documents like three or five that you would like to send. They will be displayed in your document workspace. Then you just select the documents that you would like to send to the other recipients. So you select the document by clicking on that little white box at the top right. As soon as you click on it, it gives you a little blue check mark indicating that you've selected the document. Now you just go to your send feature. Your send feature will be labeled send and it will also look like a paper airplane. Once you've clicked on the send feature, it opens up the sending tool for you. This is a very easy feature to use. Now you just start to type in the name. So if you send this to a Doxit user, meaning they are registered on Doxit as well, you can just start to type in the name. The name will appear and you can just click on it. Let's say, for example, you send it to somebody that's not on Doxit. You will have to have their email addresses. The email address is very important. You can also include their cell phone number for extra security. So let's say, for example, as you can see, this person is not on Doxit, so three fields appear. You just fill in the three fields. Cell phone number, as I said, is optional. It is recommended to fill it in, but if you don't have it, it is not the end of the world. And then the recipient's email. You can just fill it in as well. Then you click on that little plus sign in order to send it. So now you can see the two recipients is added, one that's a Doxit user and one that's not a Doxit user. Now you just fill in a little note, something that you want to tell them, maybe say hi. Please find attached as requested. And regards. Then you just click on the big red sync button and the document will be sent to that specific person going to exclude this name and just send it to Donald so we click on send it says this document is successfully sent you have 15 seconds to cancel the document as soon as your 15 seconds run out the other recipient will get an email as well as an SMS notification that you've sent them something so if you send it to a non doxit user they just go to their email address there will be a big red button saying view and download. They can click on the view and download button and will be able to view and download that specific document. The same goes for a Doxit user. If they're a Doxit user, they can also follow the first method, going to their email and clicking on the download button, or they can simply just log into their Doxit account and on their received and send of documents, the document will be displayed. So that's just how you send documents to somebody that's on Doxit as well as people that aren't on the system.